Philippines. We're rallying you to the Philippines. Live from Oddfellows on the corner of Sixth and Ogden in the heart of fabulous downtown Las Vegas, we present the Downtown Podcast. Starring your host, Dylan Jorgensen, Sonia Tello, Jason Outlaw. Music by yours truly, DJ Lenny Love Alfonso. Tonight's guest from Girls Chat Sports, Jamie Collier. From Outside Las Vegas Foundation, Marcia Baca. Comedy by Lawrence Payne. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up for Tony Shea's llama trainer, Mr. Jason Alba. For DJ Lenny Alfonso, yeah. let's hear it for him, huh? Yeah. Yes, yes. How's it going, Lenny? I feel good. Yes, you feel good. Did you feel the burn? Did you vote in the caucus? I did. Yes, oh indeed. Oh I'm a delegate. Wow. You're a I'm delegate? A delegate. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. All. So, you, so you give the delegates? I'm not a delegate. No, I got chosen chosen to be a delegate uh, for the April second uh, county. Uh, oh wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's I got to speak cool. in front of my uh, uh, what do you call it uh, neighbors and tried to. Uh, Precinct, precinct, yeah. That's it. In my precinct and, and tried Good. to sway the undecided voters and we got four out of five of them to, to move over to Bernie. Awesome. Yeah. Give it up. All right. Woo! Feeling the burn. Woo! All right. All right. This guy's a Donald Trump supporter. He's like, oh. <laughs> 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 Crazy stuff. Well, once again, I want to thank you guys. We got an awesome show for you guys, but this is what's in the news. New research says working before 10 a.m. is the equivalent of torture. Yep. That's right. Yes. <laughs> unless, unless you're old, which means sleeping till 10 a.m. means you're dead. Uh. <laughs> Did I get an awe already? Is it that time? Wow. Uh. Um, all right. Um, a new study shows that husbands create an average of seven hours of extra housework a week for their wives. Yes, that's right. If you add sex, that time jumps to a whopping seven hours and two minutes. <laughs> It does. <laughs> Two minutes. <laughs> um, a credit card firm, MasterCard, has confirmed it will accept selfie photos and fingerprints as an alternative to passwords when verifying IDs for online payments. Yes, indeed. However, if you make a duck faces, they will charge a stupid picture fee. Uh. That's true. They do. It's a, it's a dumb picture. It's a dumb picture. Um, there has once again been questions raised about the way caucuses are held. That's right. Do you guys hear about this? Everyone's talking about how the caucuses are held. Um, most people think they should be held in a banana hammock. Yep. Yeah. That's yeah. right. That's yeah. right. Yeah, that's <laughs> oh, was that all already? Yeah. Good grief. All right. Um, <laughs> taking full advantage of the buzz for Fuller House on Netflix. Anyone watch Fuller House on Netflix coming up this Friday? Yes, yeah. indeed. Um, the porn industry has cranked out something called Full Holes. That's right, which came out yesterday, two days before the family-friendly version. Um, if they would have waited about, um, if they would have waited a couple months, they could have got the original cast to do it because, hey, they're not working anyways, right? Uh. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, Kanye West, Kanye West is in the news as always. That's right, he was at a club appearance this week and he said, once again, he went off screaming and yelling that he does not like fingers in his butt. That's right. However, he does enjoy fists. Oh. That's true. That's true. He, he does. He's evolved, huh? Yeah. <laughs> um, medical records reveal that Hitler had a deformed micro penis. That's right. And only one testicle. That's what, that's what it reveals. Uh, he also liked fingers in his butt, so Hitler and Kanye have three things in common. Oh. <laughs> true. That's true. Um, NASCAR is back. Any NASCAR fans out there? Who's NASCAR fans? Anyone? One, solid, all right, this is gonna be good. Um, <laughs> Danny Hamlin won uh, this last NASCAR race by the smallest margin in NASCAR history. It was like by this much, or as we like to call it, Hitler's penis. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> that's right, that's right, it's all right. Uh, there's a furniture spill, there's a furniture and bacon spill that led to a nine hour road closure on I-64 in Virginia. That's right, bacon spilled everywhere. That's right. They say this will ultimately, however, be a good thing. It'll, have, uh, it'll be a less congested freeway. Reason why is because Jewish people can't drive on it because it's not kosher. Uh. <laughs> That's right. Hey, we've got a wonderful show for you. Give it up for DJ Lenny Alfonso! <laughs> Love DTLV, 
It's a way for every local visitor and tourist to say, I love downtown Las Vegas. And our next guest is from Girls Chat Sports, Jamie Collier. If I can manage this tall um, cool. <coughs> chair with That's my short skirt. Your skirt? My skirt? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and sporty like that. Yes, yeah. yes. Okay, yeah. so Jamie, you yeah. have your girlschatsports.com shirt Correct. on. So tell us a little about your show. Okay, so it started out as my personal blog, and then as I was looking for a way to kind of get information and connect with other female fans, I thought, why not make this into something that we can inform and entertain like the female fan? Because there were no female options out there. It was all ESPN and Bleacher mm -hmm. Report and all that stuff. And um, so I thought, okay, let's do a podcast. So I connected with a really awesome co-host who mm -hmm. couldn't be here tonight, um, which she was. She is actually from Washington. So. Oh, okay. But uh, I connected with her. We started doing a podcast. And then we decided we're going to do a live show because we really wanted to kind of bring like a, a female perspective to the male-dominated sports yes. fan and mm -hmm. have fun with it. And it's, it's kind of taken off from there. It's really fun. That's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. So... I'm dressed in kind of a sporty attire. Yeah, I, like I did that on purpose. Jackets. I did it. Yeah, I did that. You brought up Washington State, mm -hmm. so if you guys know Washington State, these are University of Washington Huskies colors. Oh. Ha ha. Oh, exactly. <laughs> um, hey, we got a boot. you must be a cougar. Anyway, so you got or some blue on. That works for me. You got blue. That's fine. Awesome, awesome. So, what actually got you started? What you kind of explained that, but what got you started into sports? So, I know you told me a little bit about you playing sports as growing up. Your volleyball. So I'm not super, super athletic, okay. and, I, and it's funny because I'm not actually like the diehard sports fan that everybody kind of expects me to be. Like, mm -hmm. I'm not going to tell you who won the 1964 World Series. I have no idea, but I'm sure every guy in here does. <laughs> I don't. But what I loved is the connection, and I, what I loved is the experience. Mm -hmm. And when me and my girlfriends would be going out to a pub and watching sports or talking about our fantasy leagues or whatever it was, we had so much fun doing it. Mm -hmm. And I said, okay, I, I, I wanted to write about it, and then I wanted to talk about it. And then I wanted to get other women talking about it in a really fun, but not like threatening kind of way. Mm -hmm. So I wanted a place so that we could just ask questions and just have like, like we're sitting around having a drink talking about why oh, I thought the Broncos drink. were going to win the Super Bowl and I already called that. So it was kind of, it just kind of evolved from there because I wanted to connect with other female sports fans yeah. in a way that like, yeah, I've got a bunch of guy friends that we all sit around and talk about sports, but it was, it was different with girls because girls experience sports in a different way. Like we want to take selfies and, you know, talk about our nails. Come on, you're laughing, but you know, you know, when you're at the game, you're like, hey, by the way, look at me and Russell Wilson, what's up? You know, you know that yes. that's how girls like to do it. And yeah. so we wanted to bring the well, diehard Well, I know there's in. a lot of fanboys out there too. They're yeah. the same exact way. I've seen that firsthand. Fanboys take selfies? Oh my gosh, yes. Really? Most of the times they're like worse than girls when they're like, oh my God. Really? <laughs> okay, oh, yeah. I'm going to have to get <laughs> <laughs> those fanboys on sports and because no one else was doing it. And I couldn't find any other female sports blogs out there. And then I couldn't find any female sports websites. Like mm -hmm. every website that I was going to was all male. So what is your favorite sport overall? Not to play, right? To watch? Yes. OK, college football, University of Michigan, Wolverines, Jim Harbaugh. Yay. <laughs> That's it. That's all I got. <laughs> Woo, Big 10. That's it. OK. You said Jim Harbaugh. He's a coach. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite? Who's your favorite athlete? My favorite athlete crush is Ryan Bader, UFC season eight, who doesn't do very well. Why? Because he's hot. No, why? So uh, that's. But I also have a favorite athlete, which okay. is Peyton Manning, because he's just a good guy and an all-around good athlete. Uh, 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 well, what about all these rape allegations? I wasn't there. I didn't see anything. <laughs> Allegation. <laughs> it's an allegation, she says. Allegation. Okay, so I'll answer my own questions. Obviously, I'm from Washington State. I'm from Washington State. So, my favorite team, of course, are the 2014 Super Bowl Yes, 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 yes. I will take Skittles and everything. Yes. Mm -hmm. my, exactly. And speaking of Skittles, my favorite athlete, Marshawn Lynch. Peace mode. Woo! Yes. I knew I liked you. No, I will tell you this. I will tell you this. Not many people know about this. You guys will boo, whatever. But this this guy has a foundation that he puts on for his community every year, and it's free for all the boys that go there. And then he gives them all shoes. So these are kids that are underprivileged. They get to participate in this NFL football camp. They get to meet other NFL athletes because Marshawn has friends. And does he? Yes, he does. He has lots of friends and cousins that play as well. And I think his brother is gonna join NFL soon. You wanna see my best? Marshawn yes. Lynch impression. Do it. <laughs> I'm only here so I don't get fined. <laughs> I'm only here so I don't get fined. 
<laughs> that's my favorite. That's my that's my that's my best interview with Marshawn. Well, I don't even sound like him. I'm sorry. I like the I'm thankful. I'm <laughs> I, I'm thankful. He's I'm not thankful. giving away Kindles though, like no. Russell Wilson is with Ciara. So well, the shoes, Kindles. No, she Russell's a little bit different. Russell's a totally oh, Russell's different breed. Mm. Yeah. Oh, there you oh, go. There we go. Look at ourselves. Something. <laughs> okay, top five football teams for next season. Oh my gosh. Um, I still think the Seattle Seahawks. Woo! Wait, oh, I thought. See, I thought this was gonna be my top like favorite yeah. top five, but I no. was gonna name them off. Okay, go. Okay, my top favorite is Seattle Seahawks, Atlanta Falcons, uh, Buffalo Bills. Minnesota Vikings and the upcoming LA Rams. Oh, come on! You guys okay. gotta get on board with the LA Rams. Okay. Like, I decided that's my NFL. What? No, what? LA Rams. No. Oh yeah. What about the Las Vegas Raiders? Woo! <laughs> 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 my God, those Raiders need okay. something. Okay. Okay. So the most important. Yeah, Vegas, yeah. Okay. The most important question we all want to know: Super Bowl predictions. Who are your two teams? Okay. Well, two years ago I picked Broncos and Seahawks. We're talking this season. And I picked Broncos again this year. I can't pick Broncos three years in a row, or two, yeah, four years in a row. Um, okay, I think the Carolina, uh, the Panthers. I, I really feel like the Panthers, mm -hmm. if they can, yeah. you know, build that team up a little bit. Um, and I want to go with the LA Rams. Okay, so why <laughs> the LA Rams? <laughs> because I'm now a bandwagon LA Rams fan. No, um, I, oh gosh, this, this prediction. It depends on injuries and, you know, co coaches leaving, players leaving. I think we're going to know a lot more, you know, once the NFL season starts after March 9th. So, if, if so your, your, your girlschatsports.com girls is every Wednesday. We do a live show on the Vegas Video Network um, every Wednesday at 6 p.m. And then mm -hmm. it's broadcasted out everywhere. You can check us out everywhere. Or on girlchatsports.com. Follow us everywhere. I have a go lovely co-host who couldn't be here this evening. And she is actually way more sports knowledgeable than I am and a huge Seahawks fan. Awesome. Yay. Thank, Thank you so much for being here. And everybody, make sure you go to Girl Sports. Girl Chat Girl Chat Sports. Girl ah! <laughs> Sorry. guys, I appreciate you sticking around and drinking four dollar whiskeys with me. All right, our next guest is Mauricia Baca, and she's the executive director of the Outside of Las Vegas Foundation. Well, Mauricia Baca, put it together. Come on out. What up? Mauricia, you roll your tongue. That's your main way to do it. Mauricia. Mauricia, yeah. You can do that, yeah. The rolling of the tongue is a difficult thing. Okay. Well, tell me a little bit. Tell me a little bit about the charity that you founded and what some of the goals are. Well, it's Outside Las Vegas Foundation, and the idea is to connect people to the amazing outdoor spaces that we have here. And I think in Las Vegas, one of the best untold stories are the least great stories, least told great stories that we have here in Las Vegas areas. And we have over a thousand miles of trails millions of acres of public lands, like amazing places. So what we do is we connect youth through education programs, over 3,000 kids last year, mostly low, low income, at risk youth to the outdoors. We do oh, volunteer awesome. programs. Yeah. And we connect the community, because we really are a phenomenal place to live. And I think a lot of people don't realize what an amazing place Las Vegas is that way. It's true, isn't it? It's true, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I will, I will say, I only moved here about three years ago, and I came for reasons that were not the, the nature escape around here. But oh. slowly, I realized that we can ski for not too far away. We can get up to Red Rocks. We can do amazing things really close. So oh, yeah. what is the main thing that people discover when they um, move to Vegas and don't expect to enjoy the like natural habitat? I guess you'd say, yeah. Outside? Yeah. I mean, well, what isn't there is you can, you can climb, you can kayak, you can ski, you can hike, you can walk, you can bike. I mean, you can mountain bike, you can road bike, you can do so many different things. Yeah. I mean, the options are really endless. It seems like you just like hug cactuses and walk around, which is y terrible. You don't you know want to I mean? hug cactuses. Yeah. I would suggest that you avoid the hugging cactuses. Okay, if I was lost in the desert, what would kill me first? <laughs> Dehydration. Okay, second. Honestly, kind of boring. <laughs> Maybe the rattlesnakes. Maybe the rattlesnakes might get you. Third? <laughs> Stupidity. <laughs> Stupidity. <There was> Fourth. <laughs> burrows are just, dangerous. Just getting lost. You don't want to get on the wrong side of a pissed off burrow. That's okay. You so you'll avoid. dehydrate, be stupid, maybe hug cactuses and burrows. The biggest thing, I mean, really, <laughs> getting outside is pretty darn safe. On the, you know, most most sides. Just yeah. stay on the trails. Bring water. A little sunscreen. Really basic stuff. Okay. And you're gonna be okay. 
OK, and you've been making mostly uh, underprivileged youth healthier and more active, That's right? That's part of what we do. I, is, like, that what motiv is that what the motivation is behind the? It's one of the things that we do. I mean, what's, what's incredible is there are all these kids who live in these places where when we look out at the valley, we see all these mountains. They're beautiful, fantastic places. For a lot of kids, that's like busy. It's practically like a Disneyland experience because they do not get to go to these places. They're living in these mm -hmm. urban communities. They're on a day-to-day -day lifestyle where their parents may be working two to three jobs, and they're not getting those experiences. Right. So what we do is we bring them outside to those places. We broaden their horizons. And you get these kids who've never walked on a trail. They've never like just touched some of these things that we're experiencing. Like, and creosote, if you kind of just hold it just the right way, it smells like rain. Is that, is that a flower? Like that. What is it? It's a bush, okay. actually. It's the bush in the desert that makes it look really green. A lot of people here live, obviously live in Las Vegas. We film in Las Vegas. So put your hands up if you've gone hiking in the last two months. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, this is crazy. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people. Or even, even oh, gone out. OK. okay yeah. and raise your hand if you've been to a you know, high-end nightclub in the last two months. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm, just try, I'm trying to get a feel. Yeah. <laughs> so is this about average? Is this what you expect from the Las Vegas groups? You know, I think what, what's awesome about Las Vegas is you don't have to choose. You can go to the high end nightclub and you then go an see Dead Mouse and get drunk. Yeah. So, and then you can like go all in night. one package. All in one nice, neat little package. You could sell that with a gambling token. Hey, okay. so many places in the world. Like, you can literally, you can go out, you can climb, you can kayak. You can mountain bike and have these awesome experiences during the day, and then you can go out to a nightclub and have this amazing experience at night. You get don't that's get true. to do that in a lot of places. Okay, well, Las Vegas is awesome. We really are. Okay, so let's lie to each other. Um, if you guys want to I bring out to, the I boxes of lies, out. well, we'll find out. <laughs> so we're gonna play a game called Box of Lies. Uh, we ripped it off of Jimmy Fallon. <laughs> Whatever. So the way it's going to work is that each of us is going to be given a box. And uh -oh. um, neither of us have looked inside of these boxes. And I, I give you my word, I haven't seen this. And I know you haven't either. Yeah. And I'm going to turn my back when you open yours. And you're going to show it to the audience so they know what's going on. And then you're going to make eye contact with me. And I'm going to decide if you're lying about what you saw or not. And then we'll find out. OK? All right. OK, so you're going to go first. I'm going to turn my back. I'm going to close my eyes. So show it to the audience. Audience, can you say it? Make noise if you can. Nice shoes. Nice shoes. What do you mean, shoes? Don't say it out loud. Is that a lie, too? Sorry. Audience isn't in this part. It's about me and Mauricia. OK. If I open my eyes, am I good? Are you done? Is it all closed up? OK. All right. Coming back to, coming back to reality here. All right. <clears throat> Marisa, tell me what's in that box. An awesome pair of, pair of shoes, because it is a Zappos box. So of course it's a pair of shoes. What? What do you mean, what? What? <laughs> what is? You're, you're looking at me. And what? What, what color is it? They are red. And they are very. Red is awesome. And if you gave it to a girl, would it be cute? Yes. Lie. <laughs> lie. I predict it's a lie. Am I right? Yeah. Show it to her. I think you're lying. Oh, it's a pizza <laughs> with a mustache and glasses? And ketchup. If you would have actually told me this, I would have still called it a lie. So you were, you were going to be in either way. So, <laughs> All right. Well, it's good that you're honest about nature. So maybe, maybe it really is dehydration we need to worry about. She's not a liar. I'm not a good poker player. All right. Player. Flip around. Cover All it up. Right. All right. Oh, this, this is what it is. OK. <laughs> huh. Oh, this is the thing. OK. And you see, that's what it's for, if anybody doesn't know. Oh. What? You have to take everything. No, that goes on your penis. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that is not supposed to go on the penis. I can't tell you what that is. All right. OK. Wish I understood more about this, though. OK. Read it. I can't say it out loud, but it's a, uh, OK. All right. All right. All right, it's all covered up. Coming back right. here. I can come back? All right. All right. I am really intrigued. That's all I can say. Well. You're clearly not a pair of vans that you were holding there in your, po in, in your box. That's, that's all I can say. <laughs> what kind of things do you think we should put on our penises? <laughs> I think there's a longer list of what you shouldn't put on. <laughs> what you should. It's a clown nose. 
and it's a tourist guide. <laughs> See, that sounds plausible. Actually. That's plausible. <laughs> Call it the truth, then. Then that's the truth. No, I think it's probably a lie, though. You think I'm lying? Yeah. <laughs> Clown nose. <laughs> tourist guide. I, I think. I think that. The, what, what we've learned here tonight is that I lie terribly, and he tells the truth really badly. So I don't know. Between the two of us. It's a good go. point. All right. Tell everybody where they can check out more about your foundation. But well, put the clown nose on first. There you go. That'll give a lot of credibility to what you're saying. That'll yeah. That'll give a lot of credibility. I've always wanted to do this in public. I feel like I have a little bit of a cold. Oh, actually. me too. Yeah. It's yeah. a whole different voice. Yeah. Yeah, it does. It's www.outsidelasvegas.org. And if you want to volunteer experience, you can go to w.getoutdoorsnevada.org. Let's do it. Ready to volunteer, go. everyone? <laughs> Give it up for Maricia. Thank, Thank you very much. <laughs> Appreciate coming out. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. You can keep right. that as a souvenir. I can't breathe. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, Lawrence Payne. That's what I'm talking about. There's a lot of weird stuff going on in the news, guys. A lot of stuff, man. A lot of weird things happening. Ladies, I think you guys want to hear this. I read an article that said, if you go down on a woman, it can cure and prevent cancer. What? You, that's weed for you, sir. You're going to... That's all I'm saying. I, any man, I read that because it had vagina in front of it. If you want your man to read a romantic book, just say vagina and you read it. I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm not lying. My girl's like, read the notebook. I ain't reading that. Vagina. Let me just take a little here real quick. My girl, my girl's confident. I don't go around her. If I had a sore throat, I had a sore throat last week. I didn't even go around her because she was confident around my house. I was like, babe, I got a sore throat. You want some medicine? If you don't get away from me right now, Forget y'all, that was funny. <laughs> but men, don't be discouraged, because it's news for y'all, too. S men's sperm can cure the common cold. I don't think y'all heard me. Men, look at me. He can cure the common cold. My girl better not cop. <clears throat> you want some medicine? <laughs> Telling you, it's a lot of. Are we talking about now? It's Viagra, sir. You got a weed Viagra. You need a woman who needs to be weed and Viagra, and you'd be great. Just telling you, everything's great. I got hit on by a girl last week in the streets. She's like, "Baby, you want some medicine?" I was like, "If you don't get your homeless ass away from me." <laughs> I might not get cancer, but I get herpes. But I'm not with that right now. A lot of, lot of politician stuff going on, a lot of politics. So Donald Trump is up right there. I don't know a lot about this, ladies and gentlemen, and I would never lie to you. I'm, I'm with you, don't, don't go against me. I'm with you, I'm not lying, ladies and gentlemen, I'm with you. But I would never try to lie to you guys knowing about a lot of politics. I would never do that, ladies and gentlemen. I'm always honest when I'm on stage. But did anyone notice there's a lot of racist people that just came out of the word works right there? Have you? Have you? Have, clap if y'all have seen this. I know I have. I was watching one of his rallies and stuff. Donald Trump says Mexicans and Muslims are evil. The white dude in the audience stood up and and the dude stopped it right away. He's like, no, no. We're not on the N's right now. We're on the M's. Stay focused. <laughs> Clap if you're in a relationship, clap. Yeah. I've been in a relationship with my girl for three years now. It's going great, it's awesome. But I got that one friend who's been single way too long. Ever had that friend? Anything that he say always ends, at least you got somebody. <laughs> Broke up with my ex-girlfriend a long time ago. That's why I don't talk to him. Broke up, I was like, he, she cut me, dude, she cut me. At least you got someone to cut you. What? <laughs> Why haven't she shot me? Shot you with love. If you don't get off my phone. But I've been with my girl for a long time, so I, I know. How long you two been together? Three years. Three years. That's what's up. Give them a round of applause together. 
This is just straight to me and you as men and men. Let me ask you a serious question before I get off. Did she ever tickle your butt? You ever tickle it? My, well, that's cool, that's a little personal, but that's cool. My girl, I, it'll mess you up. My girl messed me up one time. My girl messed me up. I came out the shower, she went, bleh, bleh, bleh. you know what I did? I rubbed my nipples. It was, uh, I was like, girl, mess with someone's booty hole. You're gonna get off me, girl. Just saying, you gotta know your girl. You, if you can mess them up, if you're in a fight, you can mess you up, mess them up. Man, I'll beat you up, what? Bleh, bleh, bleh. Girl, mess with someone's booty hole. I'm just saying, all right guys, my name is Lawrence Payne. Thank you guys, thank you, DJ Lenny, thank you everybody. I see you guys. Ladies and gentlemen, that's our show. I'd like to thank all of our guests this evening. Uh, thank you to our live studio audience and all your podcasts at home. So remember, you're all welcome to be a part of our live studio audience every Thursday night at 9 p.m. right here in downtown Las Vegas. Don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube. Like us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, at Downtown Podcast. Follow me at Snapchat at Downtown Lenny. Thank you. Salamat. Salamat. Peace. Love. Be kind to one another.